We have more tonight on one of the six people who were just inducted into the California Hall of Fame. So first, let's remind you of the list. This year's honorees are award-winning artist Ruth Asawa, Grateful Dead guitarist, singer, and songwriter Jerry Garcia, legendary musician Richie Valens, the first same-sex couple to be legally married in California, Phyllis Lyon and Del Martin, and labor activist Larry Itliong. He lived and worked in Stockton and Delano, and he formed the Agricultural Workers Organizing Committee in 1954 and helped to organize Filipino grape workers. He later united with Cesar Chavez to form the United Farm Workers Union. So joining us now is Itliong's daughter, Patty Itliong Serta, and granddaughter, Haley Serta. Thank you both for being with us tonight. We know how proud and happy you must be. So tell us about your father and grandfather being recognized this way by the state of California. Well, it's an amazing accomplishment and an honor for them to finally recognize my dad for his hard work and um, his fight for equality and justice for the Filipino Americans as well as, as all Americans. So it is a truly an honor to be to have him recognized and we are blessed and excited about it. And we're just, we have to say, it's just a thrill to talk to both of you because your, your dad and grandpa's contributions are important for so many reasons. A really pivotal person in California's history and in Filipino American history. So let's talk about what this means for the Filipino community. And Haley, let's start with you. Yeah, so this represents a huge part of our Filipino American history. And I believe that my grandfather's story is just one of many that is finally being recognized that Filipinos have really contributed to the United States of America. And so I'm really honored by this recognition that my grandfather is getting. And I'm really excited that schools are starting to teach more. As a teacher, I am just so honored to share his story as a second grade teacher. My kids love learning about um, the whole movement and seeing someone who's similar to them I have a lot of Filipino Americans in my classroom, so it's just really cool to see that um, connection that they have to his story. Oh, what a what a great opportunity for your students to learn from someone so very, very close to to this history. You know, I have to ask you, Haley, really quickly, when you were growing up and you were learning about Cesar Chavez in school, what was it like to hear no mention of your grandpa? Yeah, it was really strange that I would never hear about the Filipino American history, especially my grandfather's impact. I mean, I learned through my family, but I never really had the opportunity to learn in school. So it was um, it was kind of sad, to be honest, to not hear about his story as taught in school. Well, that is changing. But I'm just glad he's getting the recognition now. Absolutely. So, uh, Patty, what would your dad think about the current situation right now with regard to labor here in California? Um, I think that he would be um, still wanting to fight for the rights of um, the farm labor movement. There's always room for improvement. And um, I think he would be excited to know that the things that he fought so hard for are still in place today. Mm -hmm. But there's so much, still so much work to be done for equal rights. So I, I think that he would be pleased, but he would be wanting to work even harder and strive harder to do more. You know, Patty, your dad worked so hard and on such big issues, but a lot of times in the background. What do you think his reaction would be to this attention right now and being inducted into the Hall of Fame? Well, my dad was a very humble person. Um, Filipinos are very humble people, so uh, being in the back, back background or not in the spotlight is kind of typical for us. We're very humble, but to know that he is being recognized for his his work, I think he would be excited as we are as a family for him to finally be noticed and his name be a household name. And I also work at a school, so um, I'm excited to teach my students. I'm a librarian at Morningside School in Delano, so I'm excited about it. Um, we're actually um, in the process of having a mural made um, about my dad. 
and we will be unveiling that mural on October 25th. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited that kids get to know about it. And I'm sure that my dad would be thrilled to know that people are finally recognizing a Filipino, not just him, but a Filipino. Patty and uh, Haley, thank you both so much for your time and uh, thank you for your father and grandfather's contributions. And, and like you said, it's great to see that uh, so many more Californians yeah. now are going to learn about all the great things that he did. So thank you both. Definitely, thank, thank you. you for having us.